so I have my acrylic paints, um, the primary colors and the ceramic, which is primary colors too. Yes, I already get paint all over me. And um, I just, I'm just gonna use ceramic since it is like for glass. And I mean, I just feel more safe using this. This is a satisfied example. And let's get started. Okay, so first I am going to do this dot dot stuff. Yes, a dot. Uh, I didn't come up with this idea. I this is inspired by Google, <laughs> since um, sometimes before I paint, I would always uh, use Google to find some ideas and. I feel like I like this this dot thing style more since it looks nice. I don't know why, but um, uh, I'm I to I don't have tripop phobia, which maybe um pe some people with tripop phobia watching this um might be discussed. But uh uh it will it will be okay. Don't worry. It will it will be all right. Nothing is gonna um go wrong it's just dots <laughs> okay so now i am putting yellow and the yellow is so liquid liquidy um yeah i i don't know if that word exists uh i need to smudge it for some reason <laughs> and now it's time for the blue um uh, I only use like these three colors. You might be asking me. Normally, I would mix the colors before I paint something. But since I am very lazy to mix colors, I just use the primary colors. Since if the primary colors mix together, everything will be okay because it's it can mix into other colors, and I I don't mind. And now I am doing the other side. To be honest, this is. This is faster than I thought it would because at first I thought it would be like very time consuming. Um, maybe the reason it's very fast is because I didn't make the circles perfect. But um, since I wanted to make it like a abstract, like a random splatter of paint just um, bumped the vase. I know not I touched the vase, not bumped the vase. Oh my god my grammar okay um yeah so now i am doing the yellow and again i need to smudge it smudge the yellow with the red because it is so it is like so liquidy liquid i need to smudge it i have no idea i have no choice but to smudge it so yeah that's the only choice but it, it looks okay it's all right it's not messy it's just like abstract and now I am doing the blue and I don't really care if like the colors mix since these colors fit each other so well for my opinion and it just it just no need to be fixed <laughs> and we're almost done all right so now I am going to put some more dots but this time I'm not gonna make it like very close to each other i'm gonna make it like it is fading for some reason because i mean it looks nice <laughs> and i'm satisfied with it i just it's like abstract it just looks so um fashion style i love the style <laughs> and now i'm putting yellow and it's going well nothing is going wrong but since some of the some spot is not too dry it's just randomly smudged the paint but um i i don't mind uh at least it makes it into beautiful color as you can see the green there yeah the green if you can see it yeah i accidentally smudged it because i thought that it was dry so i touch it and yeah it's not dry <laughs> And now we're doing those drips, a classic. Um, when I was using red, my mom told me that why you use red. I'm like, why? And she was like, it was blood. Uh, yeah. So she told me that what are you gonna do with it? And I told her that I'm gonna put like different colors in like each different side. But my mom told me that 
um, if she put her flowers, her dry lavenders in the vase, it's not good. It's only gonna show one angle, which it makes sense. So I just put red though for the whole entire like vase, the drip thing, if you know what I mean. And I told her I'm gonna try to put the blue and yellow together, <laughs> which sounds like a very risky idea, but it's going well. You'll see in the end. You might be asking me that why you don't outline it like you normally do. Um, it is already good. It's like into shape. I just like it like that. It's just nice. I, I just feel satisfied with it. And now I am putting the yellow. Yes, uh, that is how I'm going to put the yellow. Uh, I don't know why or how my brain came out of the idea, but it looks good. It's a rat. It's like a fire style thing and yeah i i love it I, i'm satisfied with it i'm okay with it i can live with it my mom is okay with it so we're good <laughs> so now we're gonna um put the blue and try to put it in there and yeah it's all right i'm satisfied with it. i'm okay with it and sorry if today's video is kind of short but i hope you like it and here's the final result yes that's my hand so this is the final result. I didn't do anything much. It's just a very simple design for a vase. So we have a dot dot dot, which this is inspired. Um, I got inspired by like Google. So I just make these like dots and I just make the, these random drips that my mom said looks like blood, but I put blue and yellow, blue and yellow to make it um, not look like blood that my mom thought so uh i put these and then it's just i put these random drips and i put these random dots that looks like pimples to me and this is the final result it's very simple uh i i can live with it i only used three colors i didn't like mix um see so these are primary colors it can like mix it other colors too so, so, thank you so much for watching and hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the notification bell for more updates. Bye!